My name is Chaz Molinax. I'm the Student Activity Specialist here at Gulf Coast State College. I have uh, quite a few roles here at Gulf Coast. Um, I think my primary role is probably as the Student Government Advisor. Um, I oversee the training, the coordination of our programs in student government, but I also deal with a few other things that are more behind the scenes that you wouldn't necessarily notice. Um, I coordinate um, Commodore's Cupboard, uh, so every, that's a free food pantry for all students on campus and employees. Um, I coordinate a bunch of our student, our assistant, student assistants in our areas um, to keep things going like the game room, um, like uh, we have a meditation room. A lot of people don't know that on campus, that that meditation room is open at all times. So I coordinate all those things. Um, I also coordinate our intramurals program on campus. Uh, it's a sports, so um, uh, we can have different games, night, day. I coordinate all the top to bottom, all that. Um, coordinate a lot of, all of, pretty much most of our travel on campus if it has to deal with students. Uh, so whether going domestically or internationally, I help coordinate a lot of that stuff. Um, food trucks on campus. Uh, I work with the procurement office, Ta Tanya Lawson and others, uh, to secure food trucks on campus so that we have meal options. Um, I feel like pretty much anything that has that title student in it, if it has to deal with students, at some point it probably comes across my desk even just a little bit, you know, just to help out with it. But uh, overall, anything that it, it contributes to the advancement of student life to make a better, more enriching student life on campus, that's what I'm involved with. And that could be as high as, um, you know, student government and getting the clubs and organizations going, um, you know, developing budgets over the student activity dollars that are collected could be something that as little as um, making sure that the ink is stocked in the printer. I am originally from Hamilton, Ohio, uh, but I moved to Panama City when I was four years old. And I attended college here in Panama City at Gulf Coast Community College back then. And then I got my associates in arts and science, I dual majored from the first Gulf Coast State College. Um, then I went on to FSU Panama City to uh, get my undergrad in uh, sociology. When I was growing up, I wanted to be a marine biologist. I wanted to study uh, dolphins in particular. Um, then that slowly changed and I got into sports. Uh, and then I wanted to uh, become a player in the NFL and uh, pursued that dream all the way up until graduation of high school. I guess if I wasn't working at Gulf Coast State College at Student Life, I'd probably be working in the music industry, um, probably on, in, in, as a producer. Um, that was something that I did prior to coming to Gulf Coast. That's where my degree's in and I have a lot of experience, so I'd probably be in that industry if I wasn't here. I remember when I first came in interested in student life was as a student. Um, I, uh, <laughs> it's funny how it, it, things circle back around, but I uh, did pretty terribly my first semester as a student here, even my first couple semesters. And it took me going out and getting some real world experience and then coming back. And then um, when I joined a, a club that we had back then, it was called MISA, it was the music club. Um, you know, one of the requirements is to be a club on campus is you have to attend SGA meetings. Back at the time, it was Student Activities Board. So you had to attend SAB meetings. Um, and that's, it, it was a wrap from there. You know, first coming to meetings, participating in events, um, and then all the way up to, uh, I ran for student government president and I won that year. Man, I, I was head deep into it. I just loved every part of it. Um, so I remember when this position came open, um, right around the time, a couple months prior to Hurricane Michael, um, this position came open. Man, I applied for that quicker than any position I ever applied for. Because uh, I was like, there's no way that the job that I did as a student that I love, the position is coming open to actually work in that department over it. So yeah, it was a no brainer for me. I, I firmly believe that student life has a tremendous out, uh, impact on uh, the outcome of learning. Um, it's always been called co-curricular in our department. That's what we call it. What we do is co-curricular. Um, I cannot take away anything that the professors and everybody on campus does inside the classroom because they do a phenomenal job. Um, I can never do the things they do ever. But I can tell you that there's tremendous value in the things that we do in our department. The things that go beyond what you put on necessarily a resume, um, that li life skills, the uh, team building, team bonding, working in a professional environment, um, being able to be flexible and learn a bunch of new skills all at once. Um, the ability to work with giant uh, budgets that you would never have imagined before, um, to, to get to plan events that you would have never got to plan, or um, develop other groups of leaders. Um, that's, a, that's a funny part about this department is that you have a group of students 
who is tasked to lead another group of students. So you not only learn your job, you have to teach that to someone else too. You know, and uh, those things are timeless skills that uh, set you apart from others in the industry. When you go to like apply or you're going in for interviews, those are things that really stand out. The greatest part about working with student life, I think, is the students. Um, the things can get chaotic, things can have, we can have a lot of fun. Um, you never know, no day is the same. And um, I also enjoy the travel and getting to travel with students. You know, I think that's a fun aspect. Um, you get to see students in that real world experience that they would never experience outside of here, you know? And being able to do all that for the first time with them, to uh, open their eyes to new things that they never experienced in life, and, and in general, not just in travel. Um, but I, I enjoy that most, being that, um, that helpful hand to watch them grow. I'd say the best part about mentoring students is the, the journey. Um, watching um, you know, the moves that they make and uh, the different types of personalities that come in uh, and how they aspire to their goals and how they achieve their goals. I enjoy the journey from top to bottom. Uh, I especially enjoy the journey years later when they come back and they're like, uh, and it's not even one of those, hey, do you remember me? No, instantly it's like, I've been catching up with them and it's like, as soon as they see me, I'm like, hey, congratulations on this, I heard about this. So I, I love to see it from beginning to end and even in the afterlife, so to speak, when they're out in the professional world and they come back and they tell us about the things that they've done and succeeded and stuff. Being an advisor to these students is a, uh, it's kind of like rolling a roller coaster, yeah. Yeah, it's a bunch of ups and downs, twists and turns. Um, there's a lot of highs, a lot of lows. It's really fun, uh, uh, above all else. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's exciting to watch them grow into the person that they're going to be. They keep me on my toes every day, you know. Um, there's always something new. There's always something that we haven't seen before in this office, you know. Um, but I wouldn't have it any other way. They're a great group, and I enjoy every minute being with them. I would say the person who's influenced me the most in life is my mother. Um, for watching her um, as a single mother raise a stubborn kid like myself um, and then be able to um, aspire and uh, attain the goals that she did professionally and personally and even to this day I still is the one person that I can still call and uh, ask for real advice you know that is willing to give it to me straight so I've always looked up to her. My favorite hobby is actually pool, uh, billiards. I've been playing for 16, 17 years on an amateur level I've competed all the way from Atlanta all the way to Las Vegas and I compete out in Las Vegas about seven or eight times now. So it's a big hobby of mine. I play three or four nights a week. The best advice I would give the students I think is to find yourself who you are and never let that go. I think that's why students are here uh, is on that journey to b find out who they're going to become, what, what calls for them. And once they find that, I've seen students before that have found their passion and then it's slowly that fire dies because they don't pursue whatever that passion is. So that's the biggest advice is find it, spend, spend the time you need to, do the things that would get outside of your comfort zone, things that aren't something that you would never even see yourself doing. And then you'll know. And once it hits and you find out, don't let it go. Run full speed ahead with it. So I have been with uh, Gulf Coast Community College and State College for a long time. Um, and I think one of the things that keeps me here is the, um, the, the sense of pride and community that this institution has in the community, the, the respect and the reputation that it's carried for a number of years. Uh, I remember as a uh, kid, my mom worked here and um, I would come to work with her time to time and I just always remember, you know, like I want to go there. Like it was just a prestigious place to be and I still feel like that reputation carries weight in the community. We're uh, a great spot to um, advance the careers of students here. Uh, I think we contribute a lot to this community and I think people see that and it's great to be a part of it.